Hi everybody, I'm Revegilance, and welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. Okay, so... I'm counting on you. Lead us to mimic a village. Kazuma. Yes? Does that thing work? Yeah, looks like it still does. Stop! Okay. <laughs> so they took that motorcycle, hover cycle, whatever he called, to back to the teleporter, and we still have to use our legs like a sucker. Don't fail me now. Oh. I don't know why I did that, but all right, let's use the fireball here. Oh, and the legs back, the legs back. It's probably just because there's so much on screen and with fraps running, it's like, holy crap! What the grrrb? That's some really terrible leg. I do not like that. Ugh. Now I gotta refill my weapon again. And now, me, me getting hit by that wasn't even the leg's fault. Because it wasn't lagging at that time. So I can't blame the leg. There we go. Would you get up there already? And even though I really don't need it, I'm gonna get another jellyfish juice. Just cuz. I'm pretty sure there's no use for it anymore at all. But hey, why not? And I'll kill this guy, hopefully he'll drop some missiles. Great. I was hoping for tr some crystals. Oh well. Uh oh. That bike Kazumo's riding looks like it has had better days. Boy, does it ever. Let's go back to Arthur's house. And see what everybody's up to. We're weapons of death? Yes. The doctor plans to use the red flower to have all of you attack the humans. Why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Taroko to the red flower? The doctor is still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if... If he finds the red flower, Taroko will be... She'll be filled with rage and turned into a weapon of death. Uh-oh. I won't let that happen! Ow! No. How was his voice? Ouch! Are you okay? Yes, but I really thought that we were going to make it. We weren't going to make it. Oh, this episode's going to be killer on my throat. <laughs> Kazuma! And Professor Booster! Oh? How have you been? Surviving. And that Mimigai is... His name is King. 
He's the leader of this village and also a friend of mine. Many Mimiga used to live here in Mimiga Village. But most of them were taken away to the doctor. King's friends were also... Good work! That bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. Welcome back! It seems I owe you yet another one. With Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Eh? Professor? Sue. So, our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. <gasps> huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them. But it's only a matter of time before he does. Their location is in the sand zone. I've heard that the red flowers are there. Sand zone? So if we go there, will we find the doctor? Mm-hmm. I fear that it's the doctor's minions that will presumably go. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, sand zone is a very dangerous place. If we were to go, whether or not we can make it back alive isn't... Are you giving up then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. You. What is he? Well, he is an armed recon robot that was dispatched to this island ten years ago. Okay, I'm a robot, apparently. A robot? I had heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them... Professor... You've connected us to the Sand Zone teleporter. Hmm. You are the most ideal among us to search the island. Please help us. You can travel to Sand Zone with, Sand Zone with the teleporter. Search for the red flowers and burn them all. Sand Zone, huh? If there are no more red flowers, we can hopefully avoid the war. Well, that's a pretty heavy responsibility, you think? Yep. You're the one from ten. You're the one from ten years ago, aren't you? I didn't realize that at all until now. You are indeed well made. Okay, I wouldn't know. Apparently, I have amnesia, but I'll take your word for it. So let's head over to the Zan Zone. But first, I need to drink some water because Kings and Booster's voices are killer on my throat. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Sand zone. Huh? Who's that? Oh no! I don't need this leg right now. have to figure out because it's probably just that with fraps running it's like too much memory is being used or something I don't know I can run the game in windowed mode so I could record with camp studio as an alternative and that doesn't use as much memory so that's an option ah hey look a visitor after such a long time I know what you want to do, but you better wake up. The Mimiga aren't the enemy. They're totally harmless. I feel sorry for you. I'm on the Mimiga side, and I'm not going to lose to you. Hey, I'm on the Mimiga side, too. And Hey, crap. She's got, like, a machine gun or something. The missiles don't work on her. Don't even bother. The Mimigas, they basically just slap you around. I don't know if they do much damage. They get in the way, too. 
Maybe I should use the fire. Oh, no! Oh, what the crud! Yeah, she has this protective bubble when you try to use missiles on her. Wow. You got me. We've been defeated. Do you plan on disposing of the Mimiga? No! Oh. Are you on the Mimiga side too? I know it's not their fault. I'm Curly Brace. I've been with these little ones since before I can remember. I don't recall anything before that. Apparently it's so-called memory loss. I may have been a Mimiga... Mim ah. I may have been a Mimiga killer just like the other robots. Oh! Your polar stars thrashed pretty badly. Want to trade it for my machine gun? No! Uh, oh, yeah? Well, you can come back anytime if you end up changing your mind or something. Well, let's go in here. It's a save room. Oh, I think we need to talk to somebody before I can grab that dog. Are you looking for red flowers? The old lady named Jenka might know something about them. Oh, yeah, one thing. If you go to her house, you should take the dog next to the bed. Look in the next room. Be careful with those sand crocs. They'll bite you suddenly if you dare walk directly on the sand. And they'll take a big chunk out of you. You must remove the curse to move the sunstones. Sunstones? Yeah. I want to eat some tasty fish. Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's pick up the dog. What's the dog's name? Oh, the dog's name is Hajim. Jenka's pet dog and leader of the bunch. Lost while looking for his siblings. He likes Curly's place. How's the map looking here? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Apparently, there's a secret passage. Really? Really? Just seeing where I am on the map because I can't actually see myself. Really? Well, let's let's check out the machine gun. Let's Let's see what it's all about. Oh. So it's got limited ammo. What does this have to say? Very high speed firearm. Its ammo recharges gradually. Cool. Oh, well, let's grind off these guys and level it up a bit. Leveling it up a bit works better if I don't get hit, though. Wow, I like the updated music here. It's really good. The new version of the music probably isn't nearly as good, though. This leg? I can't play with this leg. What gives? Yeah, I know there's a... Life capsule there. I'll get it later.
I just... Okay, so that's a level 2 machine gun. Cool. This leg is killing me. There's a save point. Oh no. I, I'm trying to get to where I can show you level 3 of the machine gun, because level 3 is really cool. But you know what? Maybe I'll just tell you. Level 3 of the machine gun is so, uh, is so powerful that if you fire it downward in midair, it will actually propel you. Almost like a jetpack. It's pretty awesome. But you know what? That being said, I still don't really want to use the machine gun. And I have a good reason for that. What? What is that reason? I'll tell you later. Oh, by the way, picking up Curly's panties opens up Curly's story. Uh, I haven't played Curly's story I've unlocked it on the 3DS version, where it's horribly, horribly bugged and completely unplayable. But... I haven't tried it on this before, but... There it is. Bye. But yeah, I'm gonna... Blah, I can't even talk without my brain turning into a mumbled mess of jelly. What I'm trying to say is, this is the end of the video, goodbye.